Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Love of Biology. Today we are going to learn about the internal structure that is anatomy of dicot root and the monocot root. So whatever it is, they are covered with epiblema or the epidermis. So epidermis it is outermost layer of the cells. The cells usually have the fine tubular elongations without spaces called root heads. These root heads helps in the absorption of the water from the soil along with the minerals. Next cortex will be present the parenchymatous with intercellular spaces it is present circular or polygonal cells we can see so it is just lies below the epiblema up to the endodermis it is present the innermost layer of cortex we are calling it as endodermis with casparian stripes or bands those are the thickenings and uh, pericycle it is one layer thick structure that is present below the endodermis and vascular bundle these are arranged in a ring that is radial vascular system we can see and xylem and phloem are situated separate radius so that's why radial and xylem is exact that is protoxylem towards the outside and metaxylem towards the center it is present after this uh, vascular bundle in between this uh, at the central part uh, the medulla or the pit region is present that is made up of parenchymatous uh, cells so that medulla it lies in the center but is poorly developed in these dicot roots uh, due to the more development of metaxylem towards the uh, center so if you see the structure of the dicot root so here the outermost one epiblema that is epidermis with the root hairs you can see then there is no space between the cells but next cortex is present cortex circular or polygonal cells you can see with intercellular spaces and after that endodermis endodermis you can see the thickenings that is casparian bands you can see here and after that pericycle and uh, inside the pericycle, the xylem and phloem, you can see the xylem, metaxylem towards the center and protoxylem towards the uh, peripheral region. And uh, uh, in between these two radial symmetry, on the in between the xylem, there is a sclerenchymatous phloem, you can see here. And at the center, the medulla is present. So, completely in between these things, the parenchymatous cells are present. So, that is the nothing but the pit and or the medulla region. So, this is the structure we can call this vascular system as radial vascular system in the dicots. Next, coming to the monocot. So, here this is the monocot uh, root structure. So, which is similar like the dicots. With a few exceptions, so those are xylem or polyarch, that is more than six are present and a larger medulla you can see in these monocots. So, here root hair and epiblema, cortex with intercellular spaces is present. After that endodermis, pericycle, everything, metaxylem, protoxylem, everything are present. But uh, you, if you see the xylem, more number, more than six xylem you can see. And also pit or the medulla region at the center which is very larger if you compare it with the dicot root. So this is about the anatomy of the dicot in the monocot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and share it if you like it. Thank you.